Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do just a quick video for you today, addressing some concerns with the new Luminar 4 software that's come out. So if you've seen a few of my videos, I have done some tutorials, an overview and whatnot of this program, and I just kind of wanted to touch base on a few things that I've heard actually from the developers as to what's going on moving forward. If you don't know what Luminar 4 is, it's a new photo editing program by Skylum Software and basically uses some amazing tools like AI, artificial intelligence to help you edit your photos, to take out a lot of the heavy lifting that you do in Photoshop with layers and masks and things like that. You can also do things like replace the sky in just one click. And it's just a really cool software with a lot of potential and some great ideas put into it. But like everything, it does have some downsides. And currently, a lot of people are having some issues with it, especially the people coming from Luminar 3. And one of the main issues is the speed of this. And a lot of people are struggling with the speed of this program. Even some very capable computers can have a hard time, especially when you're editing raw photos. So if you're thinking about getting that software, do keep that in mind. But I did reach out to the developer regarding some of these issues and I wanted to kind of share what I got back from them. But right before I do guys, if you haven't seen one of my videos before, my name is Stefan Malik and I do a lot of photography and filmmaking tutorials, reviews, news and that kind of thing. So if you do enjoy that type of content, if you like this video, maybe consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Another thing to note is Black Friday is coming up tomorrow and they do have some amazing deals on the Skylum Luminar 4 software. So check out the affiliate link below. My regular link that saves you a bit of money normally doesn't work for that one day, but I think you'll save even more for that day. So definitely check that out. And let's find out what they actually said to me about addressing some of these issues moving forward. So the first thing they said was keep checking often for little updates, fixes and bugs that they're working out as we speak. And yeah, that's kind of to be expected and I'm, I'm glad that they're addressing some of these things right away. And there is some good news on the horizon and I quote, there will be a significant update later at the beginning of the new year, January or February that will include some major improvements. So it's great to see that the company is actually working and listening to what we need and they literally got back to me within a few days, so I love to see that. And if you want to see a little bit more about this program, check at the very end of this video. I'll leave a little snippet of my overview, or definitely check out the whole video that I will leave a link to at the end. So I wanted to keep this video short, just kind of a brief update of what I've heard from the developers and whatnot, and it's great that they're actually keeping in contact and responding when we have issues like this. So I really like to see that. Do I still recommend this product? Yeah, absolutely. It's not for everybody, but it is a great time saver, depending or if you're just getting into photography, an absolutely amazing software that can be used as a standalone product and or in your Photoshop and Lightroom as well. So keep that in mind. If you wanna check it out, check the affiliate link in the description. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you in the next one, guys. Here's my workflow normally versus my workflow in this program. For the sake of time, I've sped up my Lightroom and Photoshop editing by 1000%. So it's no secret that Photoshop is complicated. It's incredibly in-depth and you could probably spend hundreds if not thousands of hours learning it. Luminar 4 is great for simplifying things and really bringing efficiency to your work. I love how the simple controls are right at your fingertips, but if you did need or want to go more in depth, that's an option as well. So was it really a surprise that it took me a fraction of the time to edit this picture in Luminar? Probably not. So editing the same picture twice is always going to give you different results. And here's what that looked like in the end.
So next let's have a look at a landscape photo. And this is another area where this program really shines and for a few really neat reasons. Let's check it out. Once again, I'm gonna go right to that AI image enhancer and let it do its thing. So right off the bat, even at 100%, that's not even too much for me. It's got a little bit of an HDR look, but this time we're gonna go over to our creative tab and straight up to AI sky replacement. Now, typically if you've ever replaced a sky in Photoshop, it can require a lot of masking, a lot of really tedious work, and it can be difficult. In this case, it's the complete opposite. Check this out. So here we are in AI sky replacement.